Hello everyone, I'm back again in one day. I want to share with you the Hottie Swap paper pad that I used to do my tool caddy. Uh, first of all, on the bottom, I used the, the Lazy, Zo no, Lazy, Lazy Susan, that tray, whatever's in the kitchen, it spins around. So that's what I decided to use mine on. And first of all, I put paper on the bottom because I didn't want to stick this tool on the actual board in case I want to change it later. So I wanted to make sure that I used paper. So all the way around, I used this tool that I got at Hobby Lobby. Then I made a banner with a paper punch that I have, and I spelled tools there. This is going to sit on my desk this, facing this way. And first of all, let me start with the first one. This is a bowl from the cereal, plastic cereal from the Raisin brand, and I just kind of painted it around on top. And then I put a button there. I tied uh, some ribbon here, and then I used this die from the Spellbinders, and that's that new cord cordated paper pad. I had to use that, and I just spilled scraps with vellum paper on the computer. And this is going to be a little bowl just for scraps for me to hold, like lace or bling or trim. Um, the little pieces where I can just grab. I had to have one of these because I was, <coughs> excuse me, I'm recording outside, guys, because my scrap room, the light in there is terrible. <coughs> and now it decided to get cloudy. The sun went in, so it's going to rain. So I'm going to try to hurry. But anyway, as I was saying, that's the cordated paper. Uh, I just trimmed it, and then I spelled scraps on the computer on vellum paper. And then this big can here is the stamp, Laugh, Create, Smile. I had a stamp there from the dollar bin. There's one of those bowls that I'm so in love with right now. I'm using that on everything. And that's a Prima doll that I colored. I, uh, I printed her out from the computer on a 4x6. She's actually a 4x6 a, a paper. Instead of blowing it up, I just shrinked her down and colored that and added some lace here. And then uh, you turn it a little bit. There's a little clothespin, and this spells scissors with the vellum paper. And this is where I'm going to hold my Tim Holtz scissors and, you know, just scissors that I have where I could just grab it and I just put a flower there. And this little can is from a tomato sauce can. And all the cans I just kind of colored the rim a little bit, but I didn't take too much time to do the inside. And this one spells tools. And this is my Tim Holtz Distress. I put a uh, piece of ribbon here because this is the tool I grab a lot. Then I put another bow there. Then this can holds my hole puncher. And I just spelled hole punch so I know this is the can that it's in. I used another bow there, yellow. And this is another tomato sauce can. And this one holds all my Cricut, all my Cricut machine tools. And then this one, I just didn't spell anything. I left it blank. All I did was put a piece of, oh, what do you call these? I got that in a rack, I think, from either Christina or... Crafty Adriana, one of them sent me that, and that's a stamp that I had. I just stamped it out with memento and colored it up. And then there's a greeting farm stamp image that I received in a rack. I just colored her up. For some reason, I wanted to do her hair pink, but it looks more red. I wanted to do a neon pink, and I barely bought the marker yesterday. But I had already colored her, so she's good the way she is for now. <laughs> and then in this can... That's going to house my markers uh, there. And then I just got one of those cameras I found at the thrift store. Stamp Smile. And I use my Spellbinders Heart Nest Ability to cut that. Then I put a bow there and a piece of ribbon. So I like the way it came out. And I did away with that Making Memories white caddy where you couldn't even put nothing in it. You're, if you have small tools, they would sink in the bottom. I threw that thing in the trash. So this is my tool caddy. I hope you can get a good look at it. 
and I just uh, put it on a chair and put a piece of board because I want it to be outside so you can get a clear view of it. So this is it. I'm proud. I finally finished and I love the way it turned out. So please leave a comment, guys, and recycle your cans. I'm into, I'm real big on recycling and I saved everything, cartons, everything. And I always find something to do with it. Some people might think it's ghetto just to do uh, hand down stuff like this, but not me. I love it. I enjoy it. And I'm working on another can. This is a big can here, and I'm using, let me see if I can pick it up. I'm using this stamp image um, for this can. I already kind of know how I want to do it, and this is going to be for something, and I'll show you when I'm done. This is a big can. I have uh, bought this over the weekend, actually. It's a Mexican dish called Menudo. That's what I made. I was about to throw the can away. And I just love that it's so big and roomy. I'm going to stick other tools, bigger tools that I have, and then color that image. So that will be my next project. And I'm still working on my granddaughter's clock. I, it's just sitting there. I haven't touched it. But I'm trying to go in line and get everything. And I'm doing my craft room. I'm rearranging some things. So hope everyone's having a good Tuesday. Thanks, everybody, for watching. And peace, watching.